Celebrate National Public Works Week with entertainment, food, and free activities for your little ones. Lori Wallace is live in Elk Grove with what you can expect from Big Truck Day. Hi, Lori. Hey, good morning. We are at District 56 in Elk Grove this morning. So two years ago, this event was virtual. Last year, it was a drive through And this year, it is finally in person. So Woo! take a look around. They're getting set up. This event really kicks off in a couple hours. So just a few of the trucks are here set up and ready to go now. But I have Jeff Warner here, the Public Works Director, to talk about this exciting day because it's been a minute since kids have been able to actually get up in close and personal with their favorite, you know, community service truck. That's right. We're really excited to have the kids back out here, hands-on, interactive with our uh, many tables and giveaways here and our large trucks. Uh, we're out here celebrating National Public Works Week, which is an opportunity to recognize the important role public works plays in the community uh, and, and our quality of life for our residents. And so we have about 13 trucks out here today. We'll be here from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, really geared towards kids ages 2 to 6. They can come out here. Uh, dig in some sand, uh, help us build a city, uh, really be planners. We're out here with our community partners as well. The community uh, Consumers Community Services District, uh, they're out here showing off their, their park equipment. Uh, and we got cranes and street sweepers and uh, garbage trucks and buses. So all, all variety of large trucks that help make the community go. Yeah, I mentioned this earlier because in the 7 o'clock hour, we were out in Folsom where they're doing something very similar. So if you don't live out here but you live closer to Folsom, they're doing a similar event. You know, kids typically are looking out the window or the car window, pointing and waving, and today they get to really get close. And this gets really crowded. So good advice to people watching right now. Get here right when it starts. That's right. Last year we had a tremendous turnout, uh, much more than even expected. It was it was a fantastic event. We're hoping for a similar turnout today. Uh, we have Sterling the Bubblesmith back here today. He is a very popular attraction, making large bubbles, and uh, the kids run around, pop those bubbles. So it's going to be real fun today. Yeah, and lots of freebies, too. The kids love this. There's always great giveaways out here when the kids walk through. That's correct. We have a lot of public works swag, as we call it. Uh, from fans to rubber duckies, uh, vests and hard hats for the kids. So we're, we're, again, real excited. Come on out and join us. Okay, what time should people get here today and how long are you going to be out here? So the event starts at 11 and we'll be out here till about 4 p.m. Okay, a good time. And I am that mom. My kids are too old now. <laughs> but back in the day, when we'd come to things like this, Cody knows how many photos would I take right here? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> the pictures and they're everywhere so there's lots of fun photo ops because you know you gotta get the pictures when you're at stuff like this yeah. and you mentioned building a city this is so cute they have this set up down here a bunch of little elk grove landmarks the kids can play around with That's those boxes fun. so really hands-on fun opportunity to get out and like i said if you're not in elk grove maybe you're up uh, closer to Folsom. they're doing a similar event there today as well i'll send it back to you guys in the studio fun stuff and shout out to the sewer district for serving us 24 7. we That's appreciate you. them yes, we indeed. really do yes indeed. thank you <laughs> Thanks, Lori. <laughs>